and my central boy there. This I picked up because it was giving me Sisters and Seekers. Like, I'm sorry, if that doesn't give you Sisters and Seekers vibes, I don't know what does. We have a grey, we have a white, and we have... Everyone, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another video. We are finally back with a huge Primark try-on haul. I am so excited. I'm so sorry about the delay between the Primark come shop with me and the Primark haul. Honestly, truth be told, I filmed this video about a week ago in my flat in Manchester and the lighting just, it just wasn't it. And if you know me, I'm a bit of a perfectionist and I just thought, you know what, I'm going to just wait. Um, I actually have taken another trip to Primark since then, so we've actually got a lot more stuff to share with you. So I mean, it all worked out how it was meant to in the end anyway. I literally have, well, this was a huge bag of Primark stuff, I'll show you. I actually picked up one of the little reusable ones and I'm not gonna lie guys these are a game changer because the amount of times I leave Primark and the bag rips everything's fallen out like sorry I think this is probably just a sign I buy too much in Primark but if you're new here every single month I do a little series on my channel where we have a new in a come shop with me in Primark to show you everything that's new in the shop obviously they don't have a website so I feel like I'm a little bit obsessed with watching those videos so it's a little bit of a monthly series and then we also do a huge Primark try and haul of all the bits I picked up, all my faves. So here we are, part two of the little series this month. If you're new here, I'd love if you'd stick around, join the little family and subscribe and let's just get straight on with the videos. First things first from Primark, I picked up this little hoodie. All of the prices, actually I'll get the prices so I can read them to you. This hoodie was £8 and the reason I picked this up is because in my previous Come Shop With Me in Primark, you might have seen me talking about the black one and I actually picked up the black one the last time I went to Primark and I picked up the grey one yesterday because I'm sorry it's just the comfiest tracksuit in the entire world. Had the black set and I was like, you know what, I'm going to need that in the grey. So this little hoodie was £8, I got it in a size large. If you know me, anything oversized, baggy, we love a wide leg, we love a baggy jumper. So yeah, that is the first thing I picked up and I absolutely love it. Then of course we had to get the matching joggers. These are the matching joggers. Again, it's just in this mild grey. I am really picky with my greys as well. Like I only like a mild grey. I don't like a dark grey. Like this kind of grey in an outfit is no from me really. Um, I do prefer this kind of like almost white icy grey. So yeah, I picked up these joggers. And these were seven pound, and I'm sorry, they're just the comfiest joggers ever. I got these in a size small. Um, I actually, with my black tracksuit from Primark, got the joggers in a size medium, and I think that was a little bit too oversized. Like I never know with Primark sizing, but I got the medium, and they are pretty big. Like I noticed they were big because this bit around the leg wasn't tight. So those are just kind of my chilling in the house joggers. But I did pick up a small. And these are perfect, you will see in the try on clip. But yeah, that is the first little set I picked up and I'm obsessed. So the next thing I picked up was a pack of headbands in the black and the grey that I've got on now. I mean, I literally feel like we are seeing every one of them mum in these kind of stretchy headbands at the moment. And I picked up a black and a grey actually from Wilco's the other week. And some reason, like for some reason I've lost them already. So I've picked up another pack. These were literally a pound for two. And I just felt they add a little bit of something to an outfit. So yeah, I picked up these. They did also have a pack with like a baby pink and a nude. Um, but the reason I didn't pick those up is because they had like the, you know, that thing that makes them like sticky to your hair. So they don't slip, but I just thought that would annoy me. So I just picked up this pack, one pound, can't go wrong. So yeah, Primark Essential for you there. So after saying I don't like dark grey, um, I actually picked up a couple of graphic tees. This is the first one I picked up. I think this is just so cool and I saw it and the pattern and the colours was giving me the Matilda Jerf top vibes. You know the one that's like a graphic tee? I think they only have like one graphic tee at the um, Matilda Jerf's clothing brand. Obviously that's way too expensive. I think that's literally... I want to say £90 for a top, which I'm sorry, no matter how much I love Matilda, like, we cannot be spending £90 on a top, like, we just don't have the funds for it, so I picked up this one, um, as a little kind of dupe in my own head, it makes me feel like I'm wearing that, so it's fine, um, and I just absolutely love this, I picked this up in a size large as well, you'll kind of get to know over here on this channel, we like everything oversized, but obviously, you didn't need to get it this big, this is just the size that I got, but it's perfect for what I want, absolutely love it, 
so yeah that is the next little thing i picked up i'm pretty sure don't quote me but i'm pretty sure this was eight pound but i haven't got the receipt for this because this is one of the things i bought in the previous haul but i'm pretty sure 99% sure it's eight pounds i picked up which i feel like is definitely new in primark is this little top this i picked up because it was giving me sisters and seekers like i'm sorry if that doesn't give you sisters and seekers vibes i don't know what does this was literally three pound and i just thought going into spring little oversized top it says take a hike we won't be taking a hike i'm not a hiker um but i just thought it was really cute and again giving me all the sisters and seekers vibes and again a very expensive brand so if primark can bring us something similar i'm here for it but not a copy we don't like a copy over here um which is like a similar dupe so yeah absolutely love this three pound as well these were definitely new in they were kind of in a section in primark where they were like folded up on the table so you could hardly see them i don't think that was the best way to display them but it was kind of just like that so if we look out for this on the shelf then you can probably pick this up they had so many patterns they had like a pink and red oh if you, i'm getting out of breath because i'm just getting so excited to tell you about all these things i picked up but they did have a pink and red top i think in there and i don't know why i didn't pick it up but i panicked I just got this one three pound bargain now for some basics that i picked up which i am in love with we have a gray we have a white and we have this kind of like mauve slash brown color so these tops were all three pound fifty each apart from this brown one was four pound which i don't really know why um again a bit bizarre primark but never mind these are literally just a very tight long sleeve tops that are giving me kind of like skims vibes but everyone at the minute is just loving that kind of like basic look. You wear these with wide leg jeans, with joggers, literally however you want really, wide leg trousers, the list is endless. But yeah, I thought these would be good for work. I actually picked these up in a size 2XS because I feel like the only way these tops give the vibe is if they're very tight. So yeah, usually I'm not a 2XS guys, I'm usually a size 8 slash, 8 slash, well I can't say slash, slash 10. Um, so wearing two excess makes me feel very happy um but yeah honestly size down in these because you need them to be tight and i would say this is probably like a size eight although it says it's a four six which it's not i don't agree so the white is slightly see-through i did try it on yesterday with a pink bra though so i can't really complain um but i think you would need something nude under that so it's just that little top and then again the the kind of brown color i really love this color i think this is really different and I just think that's gonna look really cute with jeans. So those are the three little basics I picked up. Okay, going into sporty vibes because this year, we are gym gals this year. 2023 is the year of the gym. Um, so I picked up this. I actually did a TikTok of all of Primark's gym wear. So go follow me over there if you don't already, little plug. But honestly, I have been obsessed with TikTok at the minute. I've been posting pretty much every day. Um, a lot of like day in the life content, content at work. I work at Look Fantastic. And it's just the best job in the entire world. And I feel like sharing it on TikTok is my favorite thing at the minute. So yeah, go follow me over there. But I did do a Primark gym wear. And every time I rewatched my own video, I was like, why didn't I pick up this? It looks unreal on. And it's just gorge. It's in this chocolate brown. This is the back. This is the front. This was six pounds. And I just feel like this is the perfect little gym top. They didn't have any matching bottoms, which I don't really understand. They had another brown that wasn't at all the same colour. Um, so I didn't pick that out because that would have just made no sense. But I'm thinking just for my gym little sessions with some black leggings. be perfect. It's giving me Gymshark vibes for £6, so we can't really go wrong. Okay, the next two things I want to show you actually aren't for me. These are for my friend's present. Um, but she will have already got it because um, she's going to get them tonight. We're going on a pub crawl tonight honestly i'm actually scared for myself there's about 10 drinks i think it's something like vodka and coke a pint which i don't do a pint um a large white wine bacardi and coke there's the list goes on but it's such like a mix of drinks and i'm actually scared for myself so wish me luck um because i'm actually concerned but anyway long story short is i'm seeing her for her birthday tonight so i can show you these things because she would have already opened it pretty much the whole theme of the present i've gone for is bright pink I picked these up in Primark quite a while ago because I saw them and I thought if they go I'm going to be upset because they're perfect for her. And then the next thing I picked up was this stationery set because we both have a bit of an obsession with stationery. 
I don't think it's healthy. Like honestly, put me and Morgs in a stationary section in like WH Smiths or anywhere and I'll be happy for a good, I wanna say a good hour. Um, but I thought this was so cool. This was giving me Glossier vibes, the beauty brand, because I'm sorry, if that isn't giving you Glossier vibes, then I don't know what is. But it's just a little stationary set. This was 350 and it's literally got in pencils, pens, ruler, highlighters and i just know she's gonna have this on her desk at work and be loving life so that is the next thing i picked up from primark we all know i couldn't be giving more a pair of fluffy socks and not getting any for myself though so i did pick up these and these have just a special place in my heart because like i said i am in love with pink and red like pink and red is my color combo like i feel like that is it's just a bit of me so Anything to do with Valentine's Day, pink and red is just very on brand for me. So I picked up these socks. These are slouch cozy socks, but they're kind of like, I don't know how to describe that. It kind of feels like eyelashes. That really isn't selling it. But I picked up this two pack. It's just the baby pink and then the pink and red hearts. These were three pounds and I thought, why not? And then, of course, we can't go into Primark without picking up a pair of pyjamas. These I saw in the Manchester store. I didn't get them. And then again, I was looking at my TikTok and I was like, sorry, why didn't I pick those up? They are literally me in a pair of pyjamas. So they are the shorts like this. They're red with the tiny little white hearts. on. I got these in a size small, um, but they did look quite small. So I thought I'd go for a small rather than an extra small. Um, but yeah, those are the little bottoms. They're so cute. And then the top is just long sleeved. Um, let me show you long sleeve again with the heart and the little frills around here and I actually love that it's a long sleeve top but short bottoms because I feel like when my arms are out the covers like this I want them to be covered by long arms but sometimes long bottoms can annoy me when I'm actually sleeping so this is just perfect for me um how much were you these were 12 pound for the whole set I mean you can't go wrong and I'm sorry the pattern is it gonna focus look how cute I love that. On to the little extras that I picked up this time in Primark. I got these sports socks and I'm just a big fan of the look of like the Nike socks into like New Balance and stuff like that. But I'm not going to lie, Nike socks are expensive. So I just picked up a four pack, oh no, a three pack of these. I don't know how much these were. Let me refer to the receipt. These were £3.50, which for three pairs of socks, you literally cannot go wrong. I've actually got a pair on today not that you can really see but they're just the perfect little outfit addition so i picked up these because i run out of my night ones and i'm always looking for them i also picked up some of these which again you can't go wrong we always need some cotton pads over here so these were literally 90p for a pack of cotton pads so i'm throwing everything everywhere this is what happens when i fill my hauls like everything gets so messy um and then i picked up a two pack of these which i actually did wait to show you these for the first haul but obviously as i've explained i filmed this twice now and i have used the other one but it's these little microfiber cloths and i will show you they're literally just like this if it's gonna focus this is the material and they're unreal they're the kind of cloths that you can take your makeup off with just water you put your hand in but if this i've just done my makeup for the night out and i honestly can't smudge it so let's not do that it's a bit dangerous but this was £2.50 for a pack of two and i don't know i just feel like when i use these and then wash my face everything comes off so much easier so i picked up these and the very last thing i want to show you is these nails which sorry i've got exciting news as well to tell you i'm going to see the girls bathroom live on i think the 10th of february in manchester so if anyone's going let me know but yeah, I'm going to see them and I saw Chintzia talking on her story about what nails she was going to get for it and I was like, you know what, I need to get some Valentine's nails too. Saw these in Primark, was going to wear them for the tour and long story short, couldn't wait and have worn them today. So I will have to pick up another pair, but I will come close so you can see them. These are the nails and I'm sorry, if these aren't the perfect Valentine's nails, then I don't know what are. I love them. That is everything I picked up from Primark this time. I actually don't think I spent too much. I think I spent like £60, which for everything I've picked up, I don't think is too bad. We've got so many essentials and like a little long sleeve tops. We've got the tracksuit and so many essentials. I'm not going to lie. I actually think the little bits in Primark you pick up, like the makeup dupes, the little bits, like I just think they're actually the best. So yeah hopefully you enjoyed this primark haul i'm sorry it wasn't the biggest like it wasn't the biggest primark haul in the whole entire world but 
I'm trying not to get too much this year. Like I feel like I want to just buy the things that I'm going to rewear because one thing we're kicking out this year is only wearing something once. We are going to be rewearing and being a little bit better over here. So yeah, I really, really hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you enjoyed seeing what I got in my little new in a Primark haul. Um, like I said, this is going to be a little series. It has been for a while, but I kind of just dropped off there at the end of last year. So if you're new here and you want to see a What's New in Primark every single month and a Primark haul, a try on haul always, then definitely stick around and subscribe. Thank you so much as well for the love on the last video. I know we all love Primark over here, so they will definitely be back for February. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching. I love you all so much. And I'll see you in my next one, which will probably be some sort of vlog. And also don't forget to follow me over on Instagram and TikTok. Both are just George Lauren Birch. Sorry, I keep ducking down because I just, I felt so far away from you when I was over there. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you all in my next one. Bye.